Right, so before we jump into the tools in SketchUp, it's super important to know how to navigate in SketchUp because it's either going to make you or break you if you don't know how to navigate in SketchUp. It's actually pretty simple and similar to other 3D modeling softwares, maybe a little different. So you have the left click, the right click and the middle mouse button. So what the middle mouse button does is that you get to orbit. As you can see, I can orbit in the viewport. And now with the middle mouse button pressed, I'm going to press the shift key on the keyboard. As you can see, when I press shift, it changes to the hand or the pan tool. And now I can pan in SketchUp as well. So get used to orbiting and also panning together. This helps when you are modeling in SketchUp. And then we have a left click and right click. So left click is to select stuff in SketchUp and then right click is to find out the various options that you have for that selection. And then we also have are the selection boxes. So now if you select from left to right, so whatever is within this black box is going to get selected. And if I drag from right to left, now whatever comes in the path of this box will get selected. Now you can see that Sumile's hand is at the edge of this box. And now if I leave it, you can see that Sumile gets selected. But if I drag a bounding box and if it's not covering the entire asset or group, it's not going to get selected. So get used to this as well, where left to right is where whatever comes within the box gets selected. And right to left is whatever comes within the path of this dashed box gets selected. And finally, we have the zoom. So if I scroll with my middle mouse button, I can zoom and I can zoom wherever I want in the viewport. We also have something called a magnifying glass or a zoom tool here. Problem with this is that if I zoom in, it would zoom in only in the center of the screen and not anywhere else. So I generally use the middle mouse button. Finally, if you want to select multiple items in SketchUp, you can use the control and control shift buttons on your keyboard. Now to demonstrate that I'm going to make a copy of Sumele using the move tool and pressing control on my keyboard, clicking once, clicking twice and typing in X10 enter. Don't worry if you couldn't follow that. I will be explaining that in the coming few videos. Right. So now if you want to select all of these, you can of course drag select and make a box around the objects. So that would select everything or even from the right to left as well. Now let's say you selected everything and you want to deselect the alternate ones. So now if I hold control, you can see the plus button on my select tool. And if I hold control shift, it changes to minus. So now I can click on the items which I want to deselect and it would deselect those items. Now if I release the shift button from my keyboard, it goes back to the plus button and then I can select back those items. So control is to add stuff to the selection and control shift is to deselect stuff from the selection. So that was a quick video into navigating in SketchUp and also selecting stuff. In the next video, we're going to use our modeling tools and finally start creating something awesome in SketchUp. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.